What's up, everybody? So, you know what time it is. Bedroom conversation. I'm in my bedroom now. I'm not in the car. And this is part five. Part five of Nigeria versus America. And again, everybody is, you know, getting heated. And they're conversating and they're talking about it. And I'm just posting the real deal. I'm saying what other Americans won't say. I'm telling you from a perspective of a black African American woman that has actually visited Nigeria. This is our problem. We don't, you know, usually back in the day it used to be like, if 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 you ain't felt it, tasted it, touched it, smelled it with your own senses, don't believe it. It's not true. But now we're in the age of social media where everybody just has phones and everybody creates content. And so you just tend to believe anything that you hear. And if you like the person, you believe it more and you even share it out. And it's just, it's all bullshit. 2024 is awakening. It's the year of awakening. Everything that was sleeped, everything that was lied, everything that was misinterpreted, as you can see, it's all coming out. It's all coming out from the movie stars bullshit to the government's bullshit. Everything is just, you know, it's coming out. And They've been lying to us and they're going to keep lying to us. And the sad part about it is now they're using um, um, pastors. They're using the churches to lie to us and feed us bullshit just so they can collect and everything from us. Today, earlier, mm -hmm. there was a guy that did a video, an African guy. I don't know if he was Nigerian or not, but he was saying if you're an African that is in the States and you send money and stuff back home, he was like, take care of yourself first. Now, I agree with that. Regardless of what, even me as being an American, I had to learn to take care of me first, focus on me first, because I was that person that always did for everybody else, my children, my friends. If you were somebody I engaged with and I cared about you and I felt like you were my family, I would always do for you, break money. I would be sad and upset if I, if, if, if I didn't have the money or if I, you know, couldn't uh, 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 solve your problems. So I kind of agreed with him when he was saying, you know, if you were, you know, um, out of the country or whatever, and you send money back home, take care of you first. He was like, because they're unappreciative and they don't care. And all they do, they don't know how hard it is over here. And all they care about is when you're going to send the next payment. Now, now that might be true. And, we both, we usually post these videos and do these videos based on on what our situation. Mm -hmm. So and then you 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 forget about it's not everybody. It's that one selfish motherfucker that you was fucking with that that didn't care that was being greedy that only want to talk to you and hear from you when you got money. Now again, like I said, if you've never been to Nigeria. You, you don't know poor. You don't, if you here in America and you think the homelessness and we, and I'm not trying to, you know, take from or any, make it less than because we do have a homeless problem here, California, New York, all over the world. But when I say you don't know homelessness and you have not seen homelessness until you have seen the gutter, the slums of Nigeria. Okay. We got a gutter. Our gutter is luxury compared to what they're going through out there. So this gentleman must have been going through some stuff and he's probably been sending money back home for a minute. And then he got some unappreciated, uh, 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 appreciative, I'm sorry, motherfuckers back in Nigeria that they don't, and that's everywhere. That's in every family. 
where you can do, do, do. You can give, give, give. And they don't give a fuck about the lights are going to be cut off. They don't give a fuck about the gas going to be cut off. They don't give a fuck about the water going to be cut off. The rent is not paid. They don't care. And they'll sit there and stack up on their money and hold whatever, whatever it is. And here it is. You're still doing your all to help. So I understood when he said, take care of yourself first before you go sending money back to Africa because he said he didn't even get a thank you. He said he didn't even get get a my God will bless you, which I told you I love when they say that. They say this all the time. My God will, will bless you. And um, I was just like, wow, that's just fucked up. But what you have to do is cut them motherfuckers off. Make them see the reality. Sometimes you got to show the person the reality in order for them to get, because they don't care. We, 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 you that good hearted person, this gentleman, and, and a lot of us is like that. And we give our all, we bend our backs, we break. And guess what? That one person don't lose sleep. They don't feel anything. And you busting your ass and giving your, and going without, you won't eat, drink, sleep, nothing because you're concerned about someone else's problem. Um, this pastor, and you guys probably heard of him, Gene, Gino Jennings, Jennings, Gino Jennings, and he said, God did not tell no one, no one to pray for wealth. God did not tell no one to pray for wealth. And the reason because that is, is because everybody ain't going to be wealthy. Everybody can't be wealthy. And this is what I was saying before. Nigeria, they pray, they're God-fearing, and they always think that their poverty is going to be solved by all mm -hmm. of the money, every single bit that they give to the church. If God can get out there in some rags and some flip-flops and pray for everybody and feed everybody and clothe everybody and take care of everybody, why is it that the church, the pastors and stuff in the church, and I'm talking about all over Nigeria, but this is all over the world. Why is it that they need a Bentley, a Rolls Royce, a Rolex watch? They need a, 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 a thousand dollar suits and all of this stuff they need private jets why is it that you need all this to 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 to, to pray to god to get god to, to come and bless somebody hell you could be in a bathroom taking a shit and you could pray you could be driving in your car and you could pray wake the fuck up people wake up you nigerians wake the fuck up stop giving your money to the church Stop giving all your money to the church and go feed your family. Go start a business. Go do what you, if you did that and if the majority of them did that and you guys pooled your money together, guess what? A lot of them wouldn't have to scam and do what they do. Like I said, I understand. I get it because I struggled before too. Let me just tell you something. Nobody is above the hustle nobody is above the hustle and if you say you ain't never hustled somebody before for whatever it is you're a motherfucking lie because we've all been there we've all been there where we there was a, a, Niger, a guy that uh for some reason he needed he felt the reason to tell me i know you and you a scammer and you this and that and then i said why are you so mad you know, why are you so mad? I, I, ain't your name Gina? Ain't your name? Ain't you on Instagram? Ain't you on this and that? I, why the fuck does that matter to you? I'm not trying to get nothing from you. And then I say, are you a mad Nigerian? Because you sound like one of those, those, those busted up ass in they feelings Nigerians. He says, no, I'm from Kenya. You're the Nigerian. I said, okay. Okay. I'll be whatever the fuck it is that I want to be, but you'll never shut me up. You, I, I'm going to always keep talking. But if you in your feelings about something because somebody else did some shit to you, don't go faulting other people. Don't go faulting the Nigerians for every fucking thing when the Americans and everybody else is doing the same fucking shit. Wake the fuck up, people. Wake up. Because it's going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better. Stay tuned for part six.